So around a year ago, my mother and I both had these installed on our gladiators, okay? These should work for the Wranglers, gladiators. Now this one specifically says gladiator, but I'm betting it works for a Wrangler as well. So what you want to make sure you do before you get anything started is get in here and clean this area really well. We used a paper towel at first to clean it, and then we used alcohol pads to be able to clean it. Um, that seemed to really get that surface clear. Now, luckily for y'all, I did not release this video whenever I first recorded it. Um, it's been over a year now, and I'm finally releasing it. So we'll have just a little bit of an update on how these are holding up over the past year. My story is the story of a man who starts off at the bottom, and with a bit of hard work, continues along the bottom, and finally ends up at the bottom. Hey, this is Classic Cars and Comics. Thank y'all very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's roll. So just a little bit of elbow grease on here. Should be able to get it pretty clean with a paper towel, but you really wanna make sure that you're using some kind of alcohol or the alcohol pads that are supplied to be able to get in there and get a really clean surface. Now, once you use these alcohol pads, you need to wait at least five minutes for this to dry before you try to put it down, okay? So wait at least five minutes. You wanna be cautious, wait 10 minutes. So you gotta peel this back. And this one come off pretty easy and looks like this one is eight too, so. You wanna make sure that you get in there and that you, we used a paper towel first to clean it. And then it wouldn't hurt to wash it first, but we used a paper towel to, 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 to clean it. Then we used the alcohol wipes to get in there and further clean it, let it dry the five minutes that it suggested that you do it. And now we're gonna go in here and apply this and it should be fairly straightforward. Now there's a little bit of a seam right there. That's what I'm pointing at. I aligned the front part of this plate in with that seam. It gave me a good flat surface to work with. And I felt like it would be just easier for me to keep track of doing the other side as well. So I aligned mine right there on that seam. And then I pressed down hard, hard, hard to be able to get that to set in there firm and lock in place. Thank you, camera lady. So we're all the way up against the edge right here. And like I said, we're all the way butted up against that. And you just sit down through here and press firmly. And then that should do, we'll leave the door open and then I'll have her video me doing the small one back here. So on the back doors, there's no seam for you to butt up against. You're gonna have to just find, there's a nice little sweet spot where it's flat. Just go in there and sort of figure out where exactly that is. And I'll probably show you a little bit more here in just a minute, sort of how I lined it up on mine. But you wanna find that little sweet spot where it's as flat as possible, and then you'll wanna put it down right there. So pretty much 
what I'm gonna do is just on the other side, I'm gonna line up, try to get right there in that triangle, that first little full half triangle or full triangle, however you wanna look at it, half diamond, I should say. Just get at that little half diamond, sort of right there at the front part and go up. That seemed to be the smoothest part of this to be able to go in there and put it down. Should protect the paint getting in and out because naturally your feet would go over that area anyways. Helps to have fingernails. So much like we just did the other one, we're gonna butt this edge. We're gonna butt it right up against this, whatever that is. Come on in here, camera woman. Now what would look good to me is if a person had a way of making like that and do your lettering in red on there or whatever color your fancy is, that would really jump out and look really cool. If you had the stencils to do it or you went in and did the background in, and there may be fancier models of, of these types of deals that do that, but that would make it really jump out. But the gladiator is a nice touch on there. Also helps if you're about 250 pounds and you just put all your weight down <laughs> on it. So that's pretty much what it looks like when they're installed. Nice little added touch. Not bad. And it sort of, the pattern on here matches the pattern right there. So that's a nice little deal. So here's a look at mine. Now they're a little bit dirty and they're a little different than what my mom has, but they've been on there about the same length of time and they've held up really well. Uh, they're both still holding and they haven't loosened any at all. So I think it's a really good product for not a whole lot of money.